Steve McQueen, okay, or the sports are here, or Arnold Barbosa Jr. Uh, tell me, man, um, let's kind of get to it, right? I mean, we obviously saw Tio Fimo, yeah. uh, you know, your manager Rick posted what, what he said after, you know, he said, please don't put me with that bum, uh, Arnold Barbosa. You know, we, we heard what you had to say. You didn't seem too too bothered with what uh, you saw from Tio Fimo at 140. What? T t tell me just about that night and, and, and what kind of got you fired up and maybe he fired up and, and you thinking about you already. Um, yeah, man, look, it, it was a... Uh... You know, he's a good athlete, right? But I just think at 140, he ain't it, man. You know, and um, I've seen a lot of things at the fight without saying too much that, you know, I think that, that we'll capitalize on. Man, I ain't compo, you know what I'm saying? So, man, that fight would have been a whole total different ball game, you know? But, uh, but look, man, my manager, Rick, does an amazing job, man. He talks his shit, but it's real shit, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, we're really hoping for this fight um, because I legit don't like the kid, you know what I mean? And um, for him to say that, I don't, uh, don't please don't put me with that bum Barboza, right? His words. Um, you're thinking about me right after your fight taking off your gloves. That's fine. You know what I mean? And uh, so uh, we'll see, man. Hopefully we get that fight. Hopefully we, we get some get to give the fans, you know, uh, something to to you know to look for. You you said you really don't like the kid. What? Why is that? Why? Well, why don't you? What? Did something happen or at the fight or something? Yeah. No, man. It's you know it's, it goes back. You know, um, I, you know it goes back to a lot of things. You know, right? It goes back to you know him, you know, trying to come to 140 and just saying that he was taking over everybody. Right. So that's the disrespect to me. Right, right off the bat. Um, the ranking, you know, when he came, they tried to put him number two right away after coming after the loss. That was a disrespect. It wasn't really his fault, but it was. Uh, the main thing was his pops, you know, saying that um, that I'm going to I'm a tune up at 140. Right? I mean, at least throw some respect on my name. You know what I mean? And uh, so that's what kind of really got set, started everything off. Um, you know, we exchanged. Like, I, I like I mean, I, I do personal message, bro, because I'm not a social media guy like that. You know, so I sent him a message. He kind of, I think he responded. And his dad didn't. So I went on like a... Uh, the thing was the fighter's voice and I, and I, I talked my shit to him, man and, and you know because I'm legit mad You know, I'm not the type of dude who's gonna go on social media and like do it for you know clout, right what they say But uh, but yeah, man, so hopefully this fight happens. I really want the fight um, I know my team wants really wants to fight. That's where we're at the fight I know top rank wants to fight right because they had me on the ESPN and doing our thing So let's, let's try to do it, man what did you think about Teofimo's power at 140? He he was catching Kampa with some pretty good shots. Eventually got him out of there. Yeah. Uh, you know, but some of those shots at 135 were were kind of flattening guys. No, yeah. I, like I said, I don't think it, it, it really transitions too much. But um, like I said, he has to face. You know, he faces a bigger 140. Like I'm a big 140. I think. You know, so uh, we'll see, man. We'll see how it transitions. But not, I don't think uh, what I see, man. I seen a lot. Trust me. And I, I don't think I don't think it transitions really too good. It sounds like his next date is December 10th. I, I believe he said in Madison Square Garden. You're you're okay going over to, to his uh, his side of the town man, over there? Man, I would love to go to New York, man. I love I would love to fight for New York. You know, uh, I know my people will still show up too. I mean, not as much as his probably, you know, but I, I, that's my dream, man. It's to fight in a territory where I'm the underdog, where people are booing me. That that, that would motivate me even more. Uh, man, it's a couple uh, 140 fights. I got, I got to get your take on Zepeda versus uh, Regis, ordered for the WBC title. It's a, it's a great fight. What, who who comes out on top on that one? Man, it's a good fight. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to roll my boy Zepeda. You know, uh, that's my boy. You know, I think he's he's he's. You know, I sparred him a few times. I think he's very hard to hit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You already know. You know, I just think he's very hard to hit. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get that teal fight. Yes, sir. Trying. But, um. Yeah, you're good. But, nah, man, you know, like I said, Cepeda, you know, it's a good fight. I think Cepeda takes it. You know, I just like his movement, man. I spar him for time. I said he's very hard to hit, very tricky. Um, and uh, man, uh, who else did you say? Uh, uh, no, up? it was just, uh, well, it was Regis. Yeah, well, Regis. Regis yeah, that's a good Cepeda. fight, man. And I right. think Cepeda, I think Cepeda comes up. Um, Josh Taylor versus Catterall. It seems like that's well, at least what Josh Taylor wants to do before yeah, before yeah, yeah. leaving the 147. Uh, who knows if it'll be for a title? Now he just got stripped by the IBF. Yeah. But um, I don't know uh, the rematch. First, did you think Catterall? A lot of people thought Catterall won the first one. I was pretty close. Um, but do you think he won the first one? And how, how did the second one go? Um, you know what? Uh, it was a close fight. Um, you know, I, you can do it either way. You know, I think Catterall maybe uh, pulled off, pulled it off. You know what I mean? But I, I don't know what happened, man. I mean, I don't, I don't. I mean, maybe it's a lefty versus a lefty. It kind of gave him trouble, but. You know, I really want to see the rematch, man. I really want to see, you know, what, what, uh, you know, what uh, Josh Taylor, you know, does. You know, what I'm saying because if you look at like 
the Ramirez fight and the, and the Cattero fight is kind of like night and day, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, but we'll see, man. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't have a prediction for that rematch because it, it's going to be a great fight. Uh, just last fight, I got to get your take on, man. Hopefully, we get a division right above you, uh, 147. Hopefully, you finally get Crawford versus oh, Spence man. this year. You know, oh, they're delaying this, uh, this announcement on us. Um, <clears throat> if you're on, like, Crawford's side, right, yep. what are you worried most about coming from Earl Spence? And if you're on Spence's side, what are you worried most about coming from Crawford? Man, like, if I'm on Spence's side coming to Crawford, I mean, I mean if I'm at Crawford's coming, like, you know, Spence, uh, Spence coming at me, I think you got to worry more about the power, you know. Um, you know, worry about power. And, and he's, he has technique, right? I mean, he's been, he went to the Olympics too, right? So, so I think you got to worry about that. But if you're Spence's side, you know, I think Crawford's so just like, he's just so like, like man he has everything you know what i mean he can switch he can you know left right so in camp you got to do sparring partners for lefty and righty you got it's it's more of a headache you know what i mean um me personally i got crawford winning i know a lot of people have spence but i have i know my pops has uh, spence winning but i got crawford man like he's one of my favorite fighters right now you know so i got crawford winning that fight is he pound for pound the best right now to crawford? me he is him and canelo or, or i think canelo and then crawford you know what i mean you can't i mean i know canelo lost but he can't knock what he's done man so so i think it's like like you know canelo and then crawford there it is, uh, Arnold, man. Tell the fans though, where sure, they can sure. follow you, brother, and hopefully get the progression yeah. and, you know, hopefully the T.O. fight hopefully soon. Yeah, so you can follow me on Twitter at Junior Barboza Arnold or on Instagram at Arnold underscore Barboza Junior. Appreciate your time, man. Thank Appreciate you. you man. Thank you.